as you can see, um, he immediately wants to do that to Epic. Um, he's more, he's very respectful and really dog social, um, but he's got this instinct to want to chase her and pounce on her and bite her, like a, a fun game. He's looking for. Now, Epic doesn't like that, so he, he's, he's interested in his kibble. So this is high value enough, but I also have um, some freeze-dried food. And he's not used to a harness yet, so I've got him in a, uh, on his leash and collar. And we're going to work on a saddle around Epic, first with her not moving and then with her moving. Did you see how he wanted to lunge after Epic? He's not listening to her signs that she doesn't like it. She's showing her teeth and she's backing away and she's sitting. So we're going to teach him. Now I do have <laughs> three really good dogs that are great for teaching puppies. So he's very respectful of them. Um, but Epic is really um, not good with puppies that are big. She's good at um, building the confidence of shy puppies. But if a dog is confident and not really reading that the other dog's uncomfortable, she's really not good at that doing that herself. So we're going to use her as the distraction. And he actually also has an issue with, uh, with his owners where he wants to lunge and bite at their legs if, if he's frustrated or if he's playing. So it's a combination of staring at the dog or the person and then eventually lunging at them. And nobody likes that. So we're going to train, train him to just simply ignore it. So first, while she's um, just stationary, good. So I'm going to mark him for looking at her and then calmly go to move and put a treat down like that. Now, he, he doesn't have a, a harness yet. And I didn't want to put one on because then he'll be like scratching and wondering what's on him. So I've got the leash attached to his collar so I can block him from getting to her if he were to suddenly go for her. But if I have a treat in my hand that he really wants, I can block him with my hand like that with the treat in it. Good. Or I can just, you know, if he doesn't want the treat, I can, I can just hold his collar. And he said, oh, I like the scratching on the collar. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you can see Epic, so I'm going to give Epic a treat. Good. And then he's going to get a treat. So he's watching Epic get the treat. Good. And then he's getting the treat. And you can see he's already uh, understanding that good is the conditioned uh, marker. Good. So I can also pet him calmly as I give him the treat and make a sigh. He has, his owners have worked on a settle, but he also does have the um, a head, a chin rest. He thinks that he has to do the chin rest. So I, oh, he's squiggling around because I'm talking. But uh, he doesn't have to rest his chin. He just has to lay there calmly. So I'm going to reinforce him for looking at her. Good. And then give, give him a treat like that. Awesome. And when he's doing really good, the next step is having her move. So as she moves and he's watching, I'm going to give him the treat in case it's too hard for him. So I'm going to throw the treat for her. Good. It's on your foot. Here it goes. I'm going to throw it. Are you watching? Good. And then move her back over here. Good job. And throw it. Good. Awesome. And I'm giving him some crumbs so I can then reset and get some more treats in my hand. Um, they're both getting the same food. Uh, she has different treats, actually, but I'm, I'm giving her his food so that he doesn't also have to deal with her um, getting something novel that he doesn't have. So these are the same treats he's getting. Where's he stay? So when he's done eating, I'm going to throw that for Epic. Good. And mark and reinforce him for watching. Now I'm going to throw it behind him. <laughs> it's going to be super hard. So I've got his collar, and I'm going to throw it. Get it, Epic. She's like, no way. Epic, go get it. Good. And then feed him as she goes back there. And then I'm going to have her run in front of him right here. Good. Epic, go get it. Good. She 
She's, <laughs> she's a little cautious. I got your back, Epic. Get it. Right here, Epic. Good. That's for Epic, see? Good. Good. Okay, there's one you missed. Good job. Good. You can see she he really wants to stare at her. <laughs> Whoops. Here you go. Good. This one's yours. This one's yours. Rio. Good. 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 <clears throat> I keep changing the picture, so now it's I'm sitting on the couch. Good. 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 Now I'm going to have them loose a little bit and I'm going to interrupt him when he goes to bother her by using pop, 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 a little kissy noise or pop, 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 works really well with him. Good. Now we'll get some more dogs. Who will we get? Good. Good. I know he's got the more <laughs> higher value treat. Good. 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 My name Blissy. My name Bliss stay there wish. Good job. Good. Good job, Rio. 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 Good. Rio. Nice. Rio. Good boy. Good boy. Blissy, lie down. Good. Cloud down. Good. Epic down. Good. There we go. Good job. Good job. This free. Good job, Wishy. That's for Wish. That's for Pup. After doing so well in training sessions, I then had him loose with my dogs, and I would interrupt him if he were to go and try and bother them by using a kissy noise and enticing him to play with a toy or get a treat, or I would simply go and pick him up if he was going to go jump on my chihuahua. And you can see that by doing the mini training sessions, it really reinforced him for wanting to be near them without having to bite on them.